Hey guys, what's going on here today and welcome back to what is an insane MLS trading method. Today guys, it is going to be about picking the players up, what time to pick them up and when to pick them up. Basically guys, now there's been a lot of hype recently because you've been watching Castro's stream, the MLS players have been released yesterday. So now everyone's basically extinct that's in team of the season. So you, do, you want to avoid those players now and you want to pick up the ones that aren't in the team of the season. But if you go on the market guys, you can see that Eddie Johnson here, for, that's one number for a K cheap, you can bid on that one. That actually expired for 1.7k, I put, I put a bit of 1.5 and fell asleep. So yeah, I couldn't, I forgot to bid on that one. You see that with Chiefs MLS player it's 300 coins on the market with an average of 7 at 350 which is absolutely mental really like 350 coins like 300 coins that was a lot of not over 250 so you can just lift them up for 300 and they'll sell so you even want to, you want to snipe them for example like here is all the gold cards going for about 800 coins something like that let's have a look 700 yeah one over 650 the average price is around 700 and there's one guy here you can throw a bid on that one and sell it on because he's so bad the striker but no one bid a seven for about 700 so you can get bids on here at 450 you have two minutes left you can bid on you bid on every single one for 400 or something and sell them on for profit i know it's not much profit but if you do this all day with like just constantly doing it guys you probably make 150k 200k i should have picked that up i don't know why i didn't so got a lot of coins in the server a bad i can't be bothered for like 300 coins profit but if you've got lower coins like well obviously even when my amount of coins is good but guys i've got a new series coming out very very soon and it's going to be an mls like training to the full team of the season of the mls so that's going to be very interesting to do well basically guys if they're extinct on the market i'm not going to buy them i'm going to transfer the coin value over like of each player i'm going to add it up obviously so each position will have a player in had the player in there because so I don't want to spend the time sniping and have to go on my main account and snipe them again because it'll be on a different account. So, yeah, basically, guys, I want to trade to it. Um, we're doing that, so I'm going to just trade to the coin value of the team. But obviously, I'm going to put them all in there, buy the ones that aren't extinct. But if they are extinct, I'm not actually going to buy them, so that's what I mean. But yeah, guys, this, back to this anyway. I'm going to be a pilot after that, and all that will explain all that. You can see another 400 coins bid on that, bid through them all. This one here as well is actually converted. I should have really done that, but I didn't really want to bid on anything at the time because my trade power was pretty full up as well. But yeah, guys, um, we're approaching the end of the video now, so if you have enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button and comment down below. So I have two trading tips today, but I was just getting my um, new series sorted. I hope that's okay with you guys. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Forget, to, Don't forget to subscribe either. Thank you, and peace.